Martina from Hooked on Pilates and we're going to do a workout with just one handy band and a foam roller. So no matter what your height is, you're going to need to adjust them. So um, this is a different adjustment. You're going to take the adjustment all the way at the foot loop to where the webbing gets bigger. So I'm just going to create slack here and then pull and you see how the band comes right to where the webbing gets bigger and then I pull the slack out. Now I'm five foot six, so I'm gonna adjust my handy bands so that um, the green band is gonna end up at the midpoint of the handle. So I'm gonna to need to adjust it a little bit more. And so that's what's so great about the handy bands is that you adjust them to your height and then you just flow the exercises. So it's at the midpoint. Now, if you're shorter than me, then maybe you're gonna bring it all the way to the uh, far end of the handle. If you're taller than me, perhaps to the near end of the handle. And I'm gonna use this elastic catch just so that the tail of the elastic band doesn't get in my way. So we're just gonna pull it back, just like that. All right, so, and then from here, we're gonna to come to our foam roller and you're going to put the larger of the two loops over the foam roller and slide it down. We're gonna get it pretty much right in the middle of the foam roller. And then we're gonna place the foam roller down on our mat and having the resistance of the handy band showing. So you don't want it underneath the reformer. And then from here, we're going to engage resistance by reaching up and let the resistance of the handy bands help us roll down one vertebra at a time. And I'm just gonna bring myself in a little bit closer. I've got my knees bent, I'm grounded through my heels. I'm in neutral spine, a little warm up. Inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Exhale, bend the elbows, slide the shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Fill your ribs like a balloon in all directions. Stay in your neutral. Nice, and now we're gonna use the resistance of the handy bands to help us curl. Now that chin, exhale, curl. Pull your tummy in, now you're in a flat back and come down. Inhale, reach those arms overhead. Exhale, follow the resistance up. Try to relax the tension in your neck. Nice, now if you wanna make it a little bit harder, stretch those legs to straight. And nod that chin, so you're getting out of those hip flexors and once again, pull your tummy in nice and flat. Use the resistance to help you organize your core because you get what you train. So if you want flat tummy, you've got to train flat tummy. Nice. So now after this, it's going to get harder. We're going to come up into a teaser. So if it's too hard for you, stay with either the straight leg or the bent leg. Curl. So I get to here, I get my back flat, and then I let the resistance of the handy bands help me come up into my teaser gazes high, arms are back. Exhale, use the hamstrings to lower. Inhale, find that stretch. Exhale, try to get those hamstrings to get out of the hip flexors, and then come back up, stretching those arms back. Exhale, we lower. Inhale, find your best teaser with the handy bands. Exhale, lower. Inhale, gaze and chest is high. I'm looking at that wall in front of me and now on this one, I'm going to deeply scoop through my core and start to come down. And then from here, use those abdominals to bring the legs back up. Stretch those arms overhead. And now we're going to do alternating oblique leg circles. Yeah, so from here, I reach through the foam roller, really engage deeply through the core. I think this exercise works better in the flat back position. You could, of course, do it in neutral. But I'm really focusing on trying to get the waistband down. And then here it's the center waistband. Now it's on the other side. Now there totally is the option to add a curl 
as you do that circle. Stop at the top, reorganize, and scoop in all the way through. Yes, and exhale, I hit the wall there, and around, and exhale, and inhale. One more time, really finding that circling action, and very nice. And then from here, let's go ahead and lower those legs down. Now we're going to make sure that the balls of the feet are on top of your foam roller. Heels are going to be down. And then from here, we're just going to go ahead and come up into a bridge, stretch the arms overhead. It doesn't have to be very far overhead. We're using the resistance to keep the foam roller from rolling away from us. Nice. And on this one, we're going to start to do some hamstrings. So you're going to push through the feet, get onto those heels if you're able to, and then drive those heels in and roll back. So we're really focusing on working through our feet as you push out and return. Try to relax your neck and your face. Focus the exercise into the backs of your legs. Reach out and return. If this causes you to cramp too much, just stay with the bridge. Nice. And then from here, lower and lift the arms. Lower and lift the arms. Lower and lift the arms. That's it. And very good. And then from here, take your time and roll down. And then we're going to just push away with the foam roller and then place our Achilles tendons on top and just pull into a hamstring stretch. Remember, you're not hyperextending, so keep a soft bend in your knees. And very, very good. So now I'm going to change my orientation and I'm going to bring the handy band to the far end of the foam roller. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and have a seat away from the uh, handy band. I'm going to bend my outside leg. Nice. And then from here, I'm going to pop the back of the foam roller. My elbow is bent. And then from here, I'm going to exhale, rotate. That arm behind me is helping me get to a taller seated position. And we twist, get tall. So the arm that you can't see is bent and it's cupping into that foam roller. So I'm really using that hand to help me find a taller position. And now I'm gonna put that hand on the outside of the leg. And now it's going to help me keep my pelvis square. Release a little bit, still get tall. Push your hand into that bent knee, get tall. Work in those obliques, and inhale. Big exhale as you do that, and very good. Then from here, switch hands. I'm gonna put my hand over, and I'm gonna really bend my elbow. My palm is gonna face up towards the ceiling, and then from here, I'm gonna push up from my side bent position to a tricep, and then allow the resistance to pull me over like I'm the top color of the rainbow, all the way up and down. So keep both sits bones down, and very good. From here, we're going to stay in our side bent position and just work that tricep. You can look down at your hand or look out if that starts to bother your neck. And very good. And now from here, we're going to switch hands again. We're going to have both heels down and we're going to do a little mermaid. You're going to reach up and over. My hand is on the foam roller and then I'm going to use uh, those obliques to come up. If you want to make it harder, you take that hand off. I'm really uh, engaging my right side obliques and then I'm using my left to come up. You could reach even further out, really compressing on the short side, and then use the length and position to come up. So we're up and over, making it be small, and then go find your tall. Very good. Let's just go ahead and have one more and very, very good. So I'm going to just go ahead and flip the mini mat, mini max. I've had the mini max on my brain. 
working the handy bands here. So once again, we're going to have the handy band a little out away from me. And then the outside leg will be bent, cupping the back of that foam roller and twist. Get a little taller and twist again. And twist. And exhale with that twist. So I'm pressing into the foam roller with a slightly bent elbow. And very good. And then from here, I'm gonna place that hand on the outside leg. And as I twist, I push into that knee. Now I'm using that to help stabilize my pelvis. I'm still choosing to get tall as I exhale and twist. Super job. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and position so the palm is up towards the ceiling, that elbow is bent, and we're going to go from the side bent position to triceps, all the way vertical. Let the resistance pull you over for a stretch, and then use those abdominals to come up and then reach it over and come on up, you got it. And now stay here and just work that triceps. Very good, and use that side bent position. Awesome, and let's just have four and three and two and one, nice. And then from here it's some mermaid action. So you're gonna reach up, the easiest version is if you keep your hand on the foam roller with you, find your leg, then use the obliques to come up. To make it a little bit harder, your hand comes off, you find that good solid reach, use the obliques to come back to vertical. And you can go out even further and pull it back, very good. And reach it and pull it back. Find that stretch and the compression on the short side and use the abdominals on the length side to come up. And let's just have one more mermaid on the foam roller with the handy bands. Okay, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up with some really good uh, glutes. And it's gonna also have some toning of the arms and your lats. So you're gonna bring the handy band so it's right in the middle of your foam roller. Now I'm gonna put the arch of my foot into the handy band. I'm gonna make sure I step over it. Now this is important. You lift that foam roller and you put it out in front of you. Then you lengthen the other leg away. So you're really reaching through the foam roller and reaching through the handle of the handy band. We're gonna go up into hip extension. So you really have the weight in your support leg and you're almost feeling like you're pushing that foam roller away, though it's not moving. But you're really gonna feel those underarms engage in your lats as you find the nice length and position. And we're up, pause at the top, stretch it long. Very good. And now keep it there, shoulders are down away from your ears, and pulse, 10, and nine, and eight. Keep your abs in, seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Very, very good, walk it in, take your foot out, and put your other foot into the handle. Nice, holding the foam roller steady. Make sure you get it out there in front of you. Arms are mostly straight, but not locked. And then from here, keep that pelvis square. Find the length of your entire body. So I'm lengthening from my wrists through my straight elbows to my shoulders. And then I'm reaching long from my hip through my straight knee and out through my toes. All the weight is in my support knee. I keep my shoulders down away from my ears. Finding that length. If you want long muscles, you gotta have that intention of stretch and length. Now we're gonna hold it here, check it with those shoulders and pulse. That's it, reach it longer. Find that length. Very good, we have four, three, two, and one. 
Bend that leg in, take your foot out, and then just rest in a little child's pose. All right, well, super duper. I hope you enjoy that workout. It's gonna be one of our featured um, stations at Momentum Fest this June uh, here in Denver. If you can make it, I'd love to see you.